and what brought people here in the past. Fourteen hundred years ago, Northumbria was one of the great Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. Its king, Saint Oswald, had his royal palace here in Bamburgh. Oswald was a Christian, which was a new religion in Britain at the time. Saint Oswald asked the Christian monastery on Iona to send a monk to help him spread the word of God in his kingdom. They sent Saint Aidan. This man travelled here with Aidan from Iona in the year 635. He remembers Aidan's gentle and generous character. Local people liked what Aidan told them about his faith. He built a wooden church here and a monastery on Lindisfarne. People began travelling from far and wide to visit the royal court, to learn about Christianity and to see the amazing art being created here. It was the start of a golden age for Northumbria. This local woman has seen such changes during her long life here. She spends all her days organising feasts for the king, noblemen, and so many visitors to the palace, but she can't understand what most of them say, as they come from so far away. This young woman makes the dresses and tunics for the people of the royal court. She performs miracles with a loom, the needle and thread. She travelled across the sea from the west to be part of the royal court, and she loves the creativity here. She's also got her eye on a handsome foreigner. He travelled for months by boat to come here and share the metalworking skills he learned in his hometown, far away to the south. He misses the heat and sunshine of home, but he's glad he came. The people here appreciate his skills, and he loves the rich food and plentiful drink in the royal palace. Perhaps he loves it too much, as it's starting to make him feel ill. He's worried he might end up in the new Christian cemetery beside the palace, like this young man. This poor lad was just 20 years old when he was killed. He'd been training to be a great warrior here since he was a little child. He was slashed from shoulder to hip by a single brutal blow from a sword. Are you wondering how we know so much about these people who lived here so long ago? A furious storm in 1817 shifted the sands on the headland beside the castle, starting to expose an ancient Christian cemetery. Archaeologists excavated the burial ground and found over a hundred bodies. Then scientists analyzed their bones and teeth, revealing glimpses of their lives in Anglo-Saxon Bamburgh. The remains of these people are now interred here in the crypt. There is an unbroken tradition of Christianity on this site, which began when Saint Aidan arrived here in 635 and built a little wooden church. This church stands on that ancient site, and now it treasures the remains and stories of the people who knew St. Aidan. Find out more about the Bowl Hole Burials and other amazing Bamborough stories here in the church. <laughs>